So if you didn't know what crypto is about, today you know. Up and down movers, movements like crazy in this market. If you don't watch out, you'll break your neck, turn on your head, watch the price go up and down. So today's gonna be a quick video on the flash crash. So this is gonna be an important one, cue the intro. So as I said, this video is just gonna be covering today's flash crash. Bitcoin and the rest of the market out of nowhere just dropped 10 to 20 percent um, as I said out of nowhere now I could look at the news and see if we can match up any possible things that have happened in the news but my personal opinion is um, the news just follows the price so for example the price has dropped 20 percent today you can just look at any negative news article and, and link the price drop to that really and truly it's probably manipulation it's probably a whale's selling rather than some significant fundamental news really so i'm not going to read it i'm just going to look at the charts and see what we can find so this is the total market cap and if you had looked at this um you could have probably um predicted some sort of uh, rejection from this top level now we'll carry on by showing a bit of a live chart analysis so you can see this high created right here and where has Bitcoin, the market, the total market rejected from right at the top. Now, it's very simple. You could really predict now, would it, could any of predicted a retracement of that magnitude? Probably not, but you can still predict there would have been resistance at this level. Um, next, we'll try to see if we can uh, estimate some support. Now, as you can see, it's uh, dropped all the way down to this support level and then instantly found support and turned around. So I would say as long as it stays above this level, it's probably still looking quite bullish. And then if it drops any further, then we got some more support down below. Of course, this is the total market cap, so it's not quite the same, but you can see that there are support areas and it's still, you know, in a bullish momentum, especially after this long uptrend. So let's have a quick look at Bitcoin and then we'll move to Ethereum and probably wrap up. So let's clear the chart and, and start again. So the major resistance is up here. So it didn't get anywhere near that. However, there was a support area that potentially could have turned it to resistance. So if we look at this here, it's closed above that support area, but then instantly the following week uh, dropped below. Uh, so this is somewhat of a false breakout. Uh, this support area that's gone past now there is actually some more support down below and you can see that bitcoin wicked all the way through that price dropped all the way through but instantly recovered so what we can surmise is as long as it stays above this support area of forty-five thousand, then uh, the bulls are still in control really so at the moment it's stuck in between these two areas so we want it obviously to uh, get back above 49,000 and then we, we can expect it to attack 57 and above So at the moment it's stuck in between these two areas if it drops below 45 and closes Then it opens up the floor to drop down to previous um, Key levels of 39 38,000. So that's Bitcoin now Ethereum Again, let's just clear the chart and start again so similar to the total market cap very easy to predict um, the top right here tap that and instantly rejected there must have been a lot of sell selling going on at this level to push ethereum all the way down however it has found some support at this previous high at which is now support so as long as it stays above this support area of 3300 um, then it's still in a bullish momentum the fact that it's found so much liquidity and so much support in with this wick pushing it all the way back up potentially it could push it further to the upside having said that we need to see some more data throughout the week because this is just this could potentially be the beginning of some kind of uh, short-term correction where it just keeps pushing down and down and taps 3300 and then breaks below and goes even further potentially down to the next major resistance level or key level of 2700 so watch out for that one. 
we'll have a look at XRP as well. And as I said, we'll um, we'll just wrap up. The rest of the old coins, actually, I want to have a look at Solana because I'm very curious about that. Um, so XRP, now we've got some highs right here. And then we have a low right here. And then some of a mid, mid high. So XRP is actually looking all right. It's creating some of a broadening wedge pattern. Now it's found support at $1.05, uh, staying above it. Um, potentially we could see this broadening wedge uh, formation, which is which can be a bullish pattern, um, play out. So if it stays within this pattern and then breaks to the upside, we could potentially see this trend continue towards 150 and above. So XRP is looking, looking quite interesting. Of course, this support area is the mo most important thing to watch out for. If it drops below $1.05, this key level, then it's going to open up floor towards the lower 90s uh, and, and upper 70s. So watch out for that. We'll have a look at the old coins before wrapping up. Now, old coins is massively um, controlled or influenced by Ethereum. Uh, so this is going to be quite similar. But for the altcoins, it looks like a false breakout. So you can see there's a key uh, resistance area. It broke above and then instantly broke down below, uh, retracing quite a lot of gains. There isn't much support in the way apart from the next major highs uh, down here, just below $1 trillion market cap. So it'll be interesting to see how the altcoins react. But as we know, the altcoins follow whatever ethereum does and is massively influenced by bitcoin oh, so bitcoin and ethereum drop the old coins are going to drop uh, so that's the case with the old coins and as i said i just want to have a quick look at solana because that was an absolute tear i did say that around 150 i expected to start turning around it absolutely smashed through 150 and just went shy of 190 to 200 now, now you can see quite a bit of retracement. Of course, there's an extra influence of Bitcoin and Ethereum and the rest of the market dropping. But this is quite a bit of a rejection. And now this is clearly, more clearly signifying the end of this trend, probably the start of a reversal. Having said that, I was wrong with 150, so it could actually turn around and continue above 190 towards 200. So we've got to watch out for that. But with everything that's going on, I would say it's probably likely that it's run its course. But let's see, let's see how, how it reacts. That will be all for this video. As I said, this is a, a short video just to kind of, uh, as I was asked to cover this flash crash, what's going on, what's your predictions? I do think that a correction was overdue, as I've said in previous videos. Um, so this could be at the start of a one week uh, or even a two week, three week correction before then um, going back onto the bull run. So this could be the start of, as I said, a short correction. So just bear that in mind. If you want to take profit, I think there's still time to take some profits because most cryptos are still quite um, in, in the plus uh, relative to the previous major correction. So there's still time to take a bit of profit and then wait for maybe a further drop. So just bear that in mind. Of course, not financial advice. So that'll be it for this video. See you in the next one. Peace.